Good morning, and we are in Acts 9, verses 26 through 30. 26 starts, And when he had come to Jerusalem, he attempted to join the disciples, and they were all afraid of him, for they did not believe that he was a disciple. It seems strange that the Christians in Jerusalem were so suspicious of uh, Saul, even three years after his conversion. They perhaps thought that Saul was part of an elaborate extended plot. Uh, they perhaps wondered why he went off uh, in Arabia by himself um, or just as likely they probably were reluctant to embrace such a dramatic conversion without seeing it with their own eyes simply they did not believe that he was a disciple but Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared him uh, to them how he, on the road uh, the, uh, he had seen the Lord who spoke to him and how in Tabascus he preached boldly in the name of Jesus Thank God for people like Ananias and Barnabas uh, who will welcome people into the family of God with simple friendship uh, instead of skepticism. Barnabas simply extended the love of Jesus to Saul and as Paul would write later, love believes all things, 1 Corinthians 13, 7. So he went in and out among them in Jerusalem preaching boldly in the name of the Lord Galatians 1.18, Paul wrote that his first trip to Jerusalem, he stayed with Peter for 15 days. He also wrote that he uh, never had an audience with all the apostles, seeing only Peter, James, and, uh, the, and James, the uh, brother of Jesus. Uh, and he spoke and disputed against the Hellenists, but they were seeking to kill him. Saul again faced persecution and assassination attempts. This became a recurring pattern in his life. The story of Saul's conversion begins with him leaving Jerusalem to persecute followers of Jesus. It ends with him leaving Jerusalem persecuted as a follower of Jesus. Verse 30, And when the brothers learned this, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. Somewhere between 8 and 12 years had passed in Saul's life and uh, before he uh, entered into the prominent ministry, being sent out as a missionary from the church at Antioch. At that time, it would also be Barnabas who reached out to Saul, remembering him and loving him. Remember, growing in Christ will take time.